Today was randomly picked out of the hat in the Walking Highlights first draw. So here I am today, so let's see how it goes. Today I'm in Chudley Knighton in Devon. I'll be starting in the village here and then going up to the bridleway and we'll either be going under or above the A38 then I'll carry on along the bridleway and we should see some early scenery of the River Teen as we go along here and then I'll be going down the rest of the bridleway and then we'll be going along this road onto the footpath and this will be going alongside the River Teen we'll be carrying on down here all the way along here and we'll be crossing over a few times as we go on bridges and uh, we'll carry on down here all the way and we'll be turning around at King Staten and going over this bridge onto the other side of the river and checking this out all the way along here and then we'll be going back onto the original footpath and going all the way up here onto the bridleway and back to the car. So join me on my walk to see how I get on. So we've just got to go out of this uh, residential road and then we just need to go up this way. Now we've got to go down here and there we are, there's the public bridleway sign and we're going underneath the A38. And that's the, the size of the road, or the width, and the A38, parts of which are known as the Devon Expressway. Bristol Road and Gloucester Road is a major A-class trunk road in England. The road runs from Bodmin in Cornwall to Mansfield in no Nottinghamshire. It is 200 92 miles long, making it the longest two-digit A road in England. Just got to go through here. And uh, as you know, I do like these handle gates. And uh, apparently there, I believe from according to footpath map, is the sewage works, but you can't really, you can't smell anything. That's all. And this is what definitely makes walking exciting when there's so many sort of like bends in the path. You just don't know what you're going to see around the corner and This is a nice little bit of the path, isn't it? And I've just, I've just noticed that there's the River Teen. We're joining right next to it. And uh, I think a dog's just dived in up there somewhere. Just heard a splash. But uh, we should see a lot of that along this walk. We've just joined a, a field after going through a gate. There's, um, I don't know if it's some sort of industrial estate close by, but there is a bit of work sound that you might hear. And we will be returning back to the side of the River Teen. Now this looks quite nice because you've got like a little beach area that you can walk down to. Let's check it out. A yeah, good opportunity for photos, isn't it? And it looks like they've put some rocks there to prevent corrosion. But um, yeah, really pleasant. Someone else here as well, just enjoying it with their dog. And you sort of go over this other side of it and you've got this lovely stretch of 
of the beach. It's, it's a nice little beach here, you know, so you could come here and just um, have your lunch or whatever if you wanted to, but there's going to be plenty more opportunities to see this, uh, the River Teen along this walk. Trust me, definitely. But um, it's nice to just stop off here for a little bit and take it all in, isn't it? I'll tell you what this reminds me of this walk so far is a bit like walking alongside the River Otter and um, well, where I mean is when you're at Collerton Raleigh around there that's uh, really lovely. Now we've come out of that bridal way so we, we need to go this way up here but I don't know if there's a footpath, I um, don't know if there is um, a place to walk on so we just need to keep an eye on traffic going up here I think. There's quite a lot of quarries around here so that might be the reason for that bit of a interesting landscape up there but we've we've got to go up here and of course this around this area is the Teen Valley so there's our footpath And uh, some signs of warning here. There you go, look. Safety warning quarry. We've got to go. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Like, uh, it looks like a dried out sort of river there. We've got to go over this bridge. So I'll give you some information about Chudley Knighton. So Chudley Knighton is a small village in Devon near to Newton Abbott and Bobby Tracy. So the village used to have a railway station, Chud Chudley Knighton Halt on the Teen Valley Line. The station opened on the 9th of June 1924 and it closed on the 9th of June 1958. The nearby Chudley Knighton Heath, a site of special scientific interest, is a habitat for many rare species including the ant Formica excepta. The heath was once the village's main football pitch and was the venue for many sports days for the primary school there. The heath became so run down it was almost impossible to navigate so the school opened its own private sports field opposite the village play park and the river teen is back with us once again and uh, yep running alongside us here on the right It's a, an ideal walk so far. If it's a hot day, you've got all this shade under these trees, which um, and a steady breeze. So you can appreciate the, the river whilst not getting too hot. It's just so peaceful on this one, it really is. And, and the, the path, you know, it's, it's well maintained, this one as well, isn't it? And uh, it sort of twists and turns and just keeps it a little bit mysterious. So uh, yeah, we've got quite, quite a distance to go I think today, 
but I think it's I think it's worth it, don't you? Well, you can see how we're doing here. So we started up up there and now we are down here and uh, we're going past a place called Preston, but obviously not the, not, not the Preston in the north, but looks like a little, possibly like a little hamlet. Got to go past there and then all the way down to there. So as you can see, a lot of it is just focused on being next to the, the River Teen here. Be good to try and find somewhere to eat. I'm getting a bit peckish now, so if we can find somewhere next to the River Teen, that would be great, wouldn't it? Oh, I might have found somewhere to go actually. Let's have a look under here. Looks like it's well worn this area, so maybe we will be able to sit down here. Ah, looking promising, isn't it? Oh, this is nice. A pigeon just took off. Yeah. Just a well, let's have a look down here. Oh wow, look at this view of the river. Stunning, isn't it? It really is. And I can see someone's had a, a barbecue here, so. But yeah, this is a lovely little spot, isn't it? I think I'm gonna have to have my lunch here. All right, I've got me, I've got my, um, rucksack off I'm just gonna yeah ideal it's great when you discover these little spots like this that you can just sit down and take it all in whilst you have something to eat but uh, yeah I'll get this um, lunch done and yeah it's just, it's great. It really is. Well, that was a nice little lunch. So, a bit more about the River Teen. So, the River Teen is 31 miles long and uh, it starts off in Dartmoor and it goes all the way down to Tynmouth. So, it becomes an estuary just before Newton Abbott. It's a long river, isn't it? If you want to see more um, River Teen, then I've got a video on the Teen Gorge. I definitely recommend you check that one out as well. Some stunning views and, and more of this wonderful river there as well. Before we carry on on this walk, I've got a little riddle for you. So it goes up and down stairs without moving. What is it? If you think you know the answer, well done, congratulations. I will give you the answer a bit later so you can just check if you were right. Let's carry on. Now there's a little place called Teen Grace Cross over towards the right, only a small place, but um, I believe it is next to the railway line. Well, I just uh, spoke to a nice gentleman walking his dogs and he was just telling me about other places you can walk around this area to appreciate the River Teen. And we're just going over it now. This is a very uh, substantial bridge, isn't it? And uh, there you go, the, the views of the the Grand River. And uh, 
We've got a public footpath just there, but uh, we want to go left here to carry on. You've got your choices here. You could go down that way, down there, which would take you to Teen Grace, which is next to the railway line. But uh, we'll carry on going the way you want to go. And we're back going over the River Teen. This is a bit of a creaky bridge, but it's, uh, yeah, it is stable though. And then we've got some steps to go up after this. It's like going into an old, old building, isn't it? With creaky, creaky uh, floorboards. So there's a bit of a sharp corner here. I just spotted it and we've got to go up here rather than down that way, which I was going down. So, but I must say though, the, the signs and the arrows are doing a good job of making sure I don't miss too much. More available options there, but we need to go this way. All right, this bit's getting a bit wild actually. We're going up and down. We've got tree roots just to be wary of. So just watch what you're doing along this bit. So it could be go it could this bit little bit could go on for a little bit of time. But uh, I suppose it is typical of the team valley to get this sort of thing going on here. And there's, there's the river coming through the trees. I think there's potential that this might be, oh, mind the uh, branch there, that this walk today could possibly top Bickley part two from last time, but we shall see at the end what distance I traveled. Still signs about Safety warning quarry, yeah. So there's a lot of quarries still around this area as well. And we'll be in a moment turning round, just um, pretty much in King Staten. And then what I'll do is I'll show you some of the other side of the, the river on the way back. Well, this is good, there's a uh, oops, there's a path along here. That's good, isn't it? So we don't have to um, go alongside the road, the Exeter Road. So we're just we're going to cross over this bridge, and then we'll see what we can see from the other side of the river. Yeah, I'm impressed with King Staten's um, walking and bicycle safety, having this path made for for us you know of course just what I was showing you through there that bridge it, that's the Exeter Road and uh, yes I think there will be more people this way but I'd like to see the views so I can show you so there's a sign here Stover Trail Newton Abbott is not far away here at all and the main area of King Staten so we're gonna go through here yeah, it's going to be quite far to go back, but I feel it's been worth it today. Of course, some paths will be shorter than others, but today I think is definitely worth it in this area. got the cap on now because I think the uh, I need to get a haircut soon 
but it's uh, yeah just to protect the the neck from the sun because it's it's sort of like behind me now so well we seem to be cattle free today and uh and stinging nettle free which is which is nice isn't it Just to point out really, this side of the river is perfect for taking your dog here, you know. There's loads of dog walkers, it's perfect for that and the dogs love it as well. All this open space for them. Just notice this sign and we are on, well we were on, the Heritage Trail but we've, we're going over this bridge back onto the path we were on before to head back to the car. You always get a little bit of a different experience when you go back on yourself. You get different perspectives of, on things that you saw going the other way, you know? And uh, what a lovely day as well, glorious. And uh, being the 1st of September, it still feels like midsummer at the moment, it really does. Just been looking at the pubs in uh, Chudley Knighton and there's a pub called Clay Cutters Arms and I'm thinking I'm going to go in there and get myself half a shandy. I feel like I need some refreshment after this one today. Right, final view of this little area and um, I'm really in the mood for that shandy so uh, I'll see you at the pub now. Okay, we're here and I've got my shandy, which I'm happy to have after that little walk. Well, not little walk, but quite, quite a walk, wasn't it? But yeah, cheers. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really, it's got plenty of character, this pub. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, families are welcome here and um, they got a restaurant, they got more seating out there. You can order uh, at the table um, via their app, which is always good, isn't it? So you don't have to go to the bar. But yeah, it's, it's a really nice little, it's, a, it's like a, it's a thatched pub. It's got, as I say, it's got the character. But yeah, it's nice to sit down after, after today because it, uh, as I say, it has been a, has felt like a long one, but worth it nice to give the legs and feet a rest what's nice is you've got these shelters that you can sit under which um, especially if it's quite a hot day you've been in the sun all day it's just nice to come here and sit there's plenty of um, space for like your whole family or friends to sit here but I'm gonna finish this shandy and I will catch you in the car to give you my thoughts on the walk how long we went for and uh, just to sort of conclude. There we go, the walk is complete. I did 9.74 kilometers today. So yes, so quite a, a long one. 
So that alters the top three longest distances walked. It uh, takes Colstox down to third place and Chudley Knighton takes second place. But I think it was definitely worth it, wasn't it? Seeing the, the River Teen, the Teen Valley is just, is beautiful, isn't it? Um, and of course, it's going back to this area again, which um, I was at at the Teen Gorge. It's just nice to have another um, explore of this area. But um, what's so great about it is it's, it's flat, the paths are pretty well maintained, and there really isn't any hills at all, folks. So this is designed for so many people. And of course, it's great for uh, dog walkers as well. On the other side of the river, I saw so many dog walkers and, you know, people let their dogs off. So it's ideal for that. But um, all these little uh, mini beaches next to the, the river is great, isn't it? I'd also like to say that it was great meeting everyone today on my walk um, and hopefully uh, you will watch future videos and consider subscribing to my channel and um, in regards to the riddle earlier so the answer to that one was carpet well done if you got that right but um, yeah yeah, I definitely recommend it. And um, parking is pretty straightforward. You can park in a residential road, but obviously just um, show um, respect to where you park to the people that live around here as well. But there is plenty of parking opportunities around Chudley Knighton. Right, well, there we go folks stay tuned for another walking highlights draw to see where we'll be going on the next video but thank you for joining us i'm going to head back and uh, it is quite warm again today but it was nice having that shandy take care and join me for another walking journey very soon and it's bye bye from me in chudley knighton